Hello and welcome back. As you can see, it is awfully foggy out here. Um, we are headed out to help one of our, uh, our good friends that we sold a truck to about five years ago once we took delivery of our rotator. Um, he does a lot of the salvage auction hauls, and so we are headed out to Defiance to pick up a 40-foot diesel pusher motorhome that was in a barn that caught fire and, and burnt to the ground. So um, I know he was out there yesterday. I guess the barn had trailers, I believe some vehicles. Um, but since the RV is burnt, um, we've got our land doll. We're hooked up to the land doll. And hopefully with his help, maybe lifting it or whatnot, we're going to get it picked up and hauled off to the junk. So, looks like it's going to be a fun couple of hour drive. So, stay tuned. Okay, as you can see, we've arrived, and all I can say is, wow, what a mess. Um, still waiting on Terry to show up, but go out here and we'll do a walk around. Um, I know he's supposed to be picking up the trailer, which I knew was that one. Um, honestly, I didn't expect it to be that big, but looks like an old classic car in there. I'm not sure what, uh, looks like we've got an old mobile, like a, I don't know, Clark Griswold. Christmas vacation that we must have got the Christmas tree a little bit too crispy so um, but yeah here is what we are hauling on the Landall so I gotta wait for Terry to show up um, he's bringing the 45 ton out so I have to get some of that cut the front end down and basically this is gonna be going straight to the scrap yard which I believe is what he is doing as well with the other vehicles and cars and trailer but as you can see clearly a car collector not exactly sure what happened or how the barn caught fire but this one this one here is what's really a shame um, as you can see here What's the hubcap, hubcap Plymouth. So, not exactly sure of the year. He should have the paperwork on that one, but looks to be a, I'm gonna say a 1930s or 1940s Plymouth. Um, which is really a shame to see it, see it in this condition, because obviously burnt like it is shows all the defects. And as you can really, tell that I mean there's some body panel bodywork there but overall this looked to be a pretty solid um, walk around the other side looked to be a pretty solid car all the way around you know not rotted out so for it to be destroyed this way is kind of a shame um, so I'm not sure if he's doing a disposal on this one or not but I would think that even being in a fire that there could still be some good body panels um, but yeah we're gonna wait for Terry to show up should be here shortly and um, I'm not sure what his I believe he's was getting some tires or wheels and looked like the axles may have been all right so I'm not sure that's that's obviously on him, but um, we'll walk back over here, take a look at this diesel pusher. Clearly, quite the quite the mess. Um, so, yeah, We're gonna get busy here. I'll probably start cutting up some of the. 
some of the top there, get it cut down so when he shows up we can more or less drag it back, see if I can get myself turned around. Um, yeah. So, I get busy here and take you guys along for the for the show. Okay, we are back. Um, as you can see, I've been busy here, still waiting on Terry to show up. Um, so, basically work got all the burnt debris shoveled off, the sides cut down. So basically anything that was left that would have potentially falling off while going down the road um we basically cut it down so i got a few little pieces there maybe to cut yet but once he shows up we'll move the tractor and land dog get out of his way and i'm thinking if he can maybe drag the rv get it picked up kind of more in the rear and um see if we can't straighten those tires out a little bit while he drags it winches it um, to basically get it lifted up kind of in the back so it doesn't drag all that burnt crap with it get it out here in the open and hopefully um, he can more or less just pick one end and we'll dump the land all bed right on the ground and kind of back right under it so we'll wait for him to arrive here and get busy loading it Okay, change of plans, talk to Terry, he's a little bit out of, out yet, so I'm gonna attempt to see, potentially get that on the tail end, and um, run the bed back, just chain the back and see if we can't get this drug back a little bit, so we'll see what, uh, what happens. Okay, it's not the prettiest, by any stretch, but able to get some blocks up underneath the rear there. Ran the axles back just to get that backed up. Um, and the front wheels seem to be um, air still in its her front tires still seem to be inflated. So I was able to turn the steering wheel surprisingly, get the wheels straight. So I'm basically just gonna pull ahead and hopefully get this right up about where the land doll is sitting. That way when Terry shows up he can reach out pick the front end, I can back right under it and tie it down and be on our way. Okay, that worked pretty much exactly how planned for. Have to knock that down, but um, yeah, I don't see 
Well, clearly the front end pulled the front of the nose off, so which no big deal. We'll have to um, tie that up. But yeah, other than that, once he shows up, should just be picked up back up. I'll get backed up, throw some chains on, and then uh, winch it the rest of the way on. But yeah, what a mess. Finally, 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 here comes the wrecker. So have to get that put down, get jockeyed around, get into place here. But yes, 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 yes. Boom up now. Okay, hold up. How's that? Um, I'm thinking if we can get a chain wrapped around there to the cable, then I can winch it, you know. Okay. Because it's going to have to come this way. You know, I want that to end up right about to the edge of the bed. Let's get, uh, we'll get these chains off. Wanna leave them chains on for winching? No, cause I wanna... Well, it probably would work for no more than it's gotta go. Yeah. So, let me... Get up here. Can jump up, give me a hand. Let's, uh, let's do this. Grab, huh? grab me one of them, the big four by six. Yeah, or the six by six. Not. Grab the six by six. Okay, well, uh, you do the outside one? Up a little bit and I'll let down or let down. So let 
yours, let yours down some now. Just rolling off them blocks. Let's grab them four by sixes. You might as well climb up. Huh? I can't hear you. But just wait a minute. Let me. back up just to fuzz just watch your cable that way once I end up pulling it that'll end up about right straight what now? not yet huh? not yet Okay, right there. Let me. Let me. Uh, huh? I'd rather get it up. I'll run the the bed back. We'll get it up. Lift have have you lift it up. We'll get it centered, and then put it just on some regular blocks or something. That way they don't spit it out. Chain down, we got our tarps, um, trash tarps on it, so basically keep ash as much as possible from blowing around. And now Terry's over here hooking up to uh, the trailer, get the tires on it. So we are pretty well out of here. He's gonna finish that up and we are going to get out of here and head to the scrapyard. Okay, so if you have wondered why there is no background sound of the truck, it is because we clearly have not mastered our new camera and microphone setup yet. Um, but we have decided to have a little contest. We're headed to the scrapyard there, and 
we're guessing the weight of the burnt RV. So as it sits on the trailer, we're going to take it across the scrapyard at the scale and get the weight of the RV. So I want you guys to go ahead and drop a comment what you think the, the weight is going to be and um, give some of our faithful followers the opportunity to win some merchandise, either hat or t-shirt. So, yeah, as you um, go ahead and drop in the comments, it doesn't matter whether it's over or under, the person who is the closest to the nearest pound will win. So, almost here, getting into the scrapyard will show up on the scale, and then, um, yeah. totally on and to slide our axis forward to get so it looks like they're going to lift it one from each side and then I will just pull out from underneath of it leaving the scrap yard and um, yeah another successful job completed um, like I said go ahead leave the comments there uh, whatever you think that the weight of the leave the comment of whatever you think the weight of the of the burnt RV was and let's just say let's just say the start of the new year January 1 we will we will check the comments out and whoever is the closest to the actual weight of the RV, we will send them some, uh, some merch, uh, hat, t-shirt, um, whatever they like. So we'll make a follow-up video. So stay tuned. As always, thank you for watching.